Hi everyone, this is Mary Pra, the Chemistry Guru. Now in today's video, we want to learn how to determine the relative molecular mass of a gas using the graph of pressure against 1 over volume. So let's take a look at today's exercise. The graph of P in terms of kilopascal against 1 over V in terms of per meter cube was obtained for 0 0.200 gram of an unknown gas at 25 degree C. So the graph is given here, later we will interpret this graph. So what is the relative molecular mass of the gas? And we're given four options here. Now, if we consider information given in the question, we have the graph of pressure against 1 over volume, we have the mass of this unknown gas at a certain temperature, then clearly we are looking at my ideal gas equation. Now ideal gas equation is here, PV equals to nRT, P for pressure in Pascal, V for volume in meter cube, N is the number of moles, R is my gas constant, the value is 8.31. This value is also inside the data booklet, so we can refer to that. T is temperature in terms of Kelvin. So basically what we have to do is, since you give me this graph involving pressure against 1 over volume, what I want to do is I want to write out my ideal gas equation in terms of this graph. I want the y coordinate to be pressure and the x coordinate to be 1 over volume. I write out my ideal gas equation in terms of your x coordinate and y coordinate and then from there I can determine what is the value for the gradient. So let us take a look at this. It's actually fairly simple. My pressure and volume is on the same side. If I want 1 over volume, I just need to bring the volume towards the right-hand side and I'll have something like this, correct? So pressure equals to nRT multiplied by 1 over volume. So my pressure is the y-coordinate, 1 over volume it is the x-coordinate, and therefore my nRT will be equal to the gradient. So if I look back at this graph, basically this graph, the gradient for the graph will be equals to nRT. And since the question is asking us to determine molar mass, so molar mass is tied directly to number of moles, correct? So what we do is we find the gradient, and the gradient is equals to nRT, and we work towards finding the relative molecular mass. Now finding the gradient shouldn't be that much of a problem because we have this point here, the 1 over volume value will be 1290 per meter cube, and the pressure value will be 30.4 kilopascal. So I can find this gradient fairly easily, but we have to keep in mind the pressure is in terms of Pascal. So therefore, we have to convert 30.4 kilopascal to Pascal. So the gradient is equal to nRT, and based on this graph, we know that the gradient is 30.4 times 1000, because we are converting kilopascal to Pascal, divided by 1290 in terms of per meter cube. So the gradient that we are getting, this value is 33.57. So now I know that this 33.57 is equal to nRT. So what we can do next is we can try to figure out what is my relative molecular mass. Now we have more information given in the question. The mass for this gas is 0.200 gram, and the temperature is 25 degrees C, and we have to convert it to Kelvin because the temperature has to be in Kelvin. So nRT equals to the gradient 33.57, Remember, number of moles is just mass in gram over molar mass, or the relative molecular mass, which is the unknown term that we want to determine here. And therefore, I can write out this expression in terms of the molar mass or relative molecular mass. So my capital M, which is my relative molecular mass, I just bring this molar mass term over to one side and bring 23.57 over to the left-hand side. It will be something like this. The relative molecular mass or the molar mass will be mass in gram, multiplied by gas constant, multiplied by temperature in terms of Kelvin, divided by 23.57. So we have all these terms, we can substitute in all these value, 0 0.200 gram of this gas, gas constant is 8.31. Temperature, remember, we have to convert it to Kelvin, 25 degrees C plus 273, convert it to Kelvin, divided by the gradient, 23.57, we work this out, we will get this value 21.0. And of course, once we have calculated the relative molecular mass, then we can compare this against my answer ABCD. Obviously, the answer will be 
option B. All right, so that was the discussion involving this exercise. Now basically, it's fairly simple, just making use of the pressure against one over volume graph. I can find the gradient, and this gradient tells me some information involving some of the terms inside my ideal gas equation, and subsequently, we solve for the unknown term. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. I'll see you next week.